Dude, that was so crazy. Did you see that? Whoa, where did he come from? I can't even speak right now. Today's fishing mission is sponsored and paid for courtesy of L.L. Bean. Well guys, today is going to be an insanely dope fishing mission. I am going on a completely exploratory fishing trip right now. I am in Western Massachusetts, a place I've never fished before, and we are taking advantage of the full on fall fishing. As you can see, fall's in full force. The leaves are turning red and orange and yellow and things are happening here. So I decided to kind of move off from my normal fishing spots on the outskirts of Boston and try something completely new. I'm out of my element currently. Over the past few weeks, I've been jumping around from, you know, the Cape all the way to Nantucket to chase after bluefin tuna with the boys, the Googans, and it's just been an eye-opening experience. But I decided to reel it back a bit, kick it old school, and today I'm gonna be fishing some creeks, just like this one behind me. I'm gonna be exploring some waters that probably don't get fished very often, going to the backwoods and just seeing what we can find. And the cool part about today's session is we're gonna be going after a fish that I have never caught before. A fish that's like honestly on my bucket list and has been on my bucket list for many years now. So we're gonna to try to catch this specific fish. I'm gonna keep it a secret. It's kind of a rare fish, honestly, and I don't really know how to target them, but we're just gonna try it out. I'm uh, of course with Alex. He's gonna be helping me film today. And then we are also pairing up and teaming up with none other than Winkus herself. What are you doing? You stoked for today's mission? <laughs> so she's gonna be our little fish magnet. We are uh, actually, I'm pretty much all rigged and ready to go. So let's not waste another breath. Get to casting and get to cranking. I'll catch you guys on the water. Let's go rip some lips. I'm going very light today. One rod, one little spinning rod, little seven two stick. Go get them, Lucky. Where they at? Go get them. All right, so this is spot number one. I reckon we'll probably fish a few little creeks today, little ponds, little lakes, but this is the first one. It looks really good. Some grass, some tannic water. We're going after, like I said, one specific fish species in mind, but anything is up for grabs. I'm down to just get bit. So let's see what we can do here. All right, here we go. We are on the backwoods mission. Time to go get some fish. I'm hoping today we encounter this elusive, uh, kind of rare slash legendary species that I've always wanted to catch since I was a kid. I can't believe I'm 23 years old. I've caught all these different species and I've never caught this specific one that I'm primarily targeting today. I'm kind of, I'm kind of trying to keep it a secret. I don't want to like give it away, but if we do catch one, it's going to be like the realest, most hype moment of this Massachusetts trip so far. Oh my God, dude, this looks unbelievably good. We literally just found this spot on Google Maps. Believe it or not, we had planned on fishing the Quabbin Reservoir today, but something about fishing a big lake like that with a 20 mile per hour northeastern wind and a little John boat, that just doesn't make any sense. So we scrapped that plan, head over this creek, and I cannot be any more stoked. This has got to be the sickest piece of water I've fished since I've been here in Massachusetts. We've already seen three really nice fish. They've kind of shy away from our rig, but it's progress. We're making some good moves here. There we go. I'm hooked up. What is this? What do I have? What is that? Oh, no way. There it is. I got him. Woo! Hell yes. That is, I, I cannot believe this. This is insane. This is the fish we were after today. <laughs> what an epic fish species. This right here. Let me wet my hands real quick so he doesn't lose his slime. This right here is the fish that I've been after for many, many years now. This right here is a little tiny brook trout. They get much bigger than this, like little mini versions of char and, uh, and lake trout. They're in the same family. They're not even really considered a trout, I don't think. Probably some of the pretty, oh no, he just fell in the water. Wait, hang on, hang on, oh, oh, no, he's gone, he's gone. Well, at least you guys got a, a quick glimpse at him. That right there is the fish that we came here for. I didn't think we were gonna catch one that fast. That was pretty sick. Now, don't be like discouraged. That is a pretty small one. They get pretty big. They can get up to like, I think, you know, 20 inches up north in Maine. Wow, that's it. I've literally never seen one of those fish in person and to catch that little guy just then was majorly hype. I know there's some bigger fish in here. We've actually seen some bigger trout. That right there, that's it. That's what we are after. Now we just need to catch some bigger ones. There's definitely some more fish up in this current. I've been getting an absolute ton of bites here on this little tiny drop shot. Yes, that was so sick. Oh, come on. Yes, fish on, fish on, fish on. Switched up to a little jerk bait. We are hooked up. What is this? Another brookie, dude. Oh my God. Another little brook trout. <laughs> dude, so gnarly. Is this not the most insane looking little fish you've ever seen? 
So I tried to get like an up close shot back there on my first brook trout, but I've been fishing for two decades and I somehow have managed to never catch one of these guys. Such a fierce little dude. Don't let the looks fool you. These fish are super aggressive as you can see. He ate a jerk bait that's probably like a sixth of his size. Like these guys are fierce. They're in the same family as, you know, those aggressive char and um, even lake trout. So I think this time of year they get a little active. It is fall and I do believe they start spawning. So anyway, I'm gonna quit talking, put this guy back in the water. I'm probably gonna have to pull a little parkour here since uh, I did land this guy from up top. I wanna make sure he lives and uh, thrives and continues to eat more jerk baits. <laughs> That's so sick, bro. How epic is that little dude? One thing to realize if you ever do fish for these little trout is they're super sensitive. You can't do big cannonball releases on these guys. So I'm gonna climb this tree all the way down to the water's edge and release our little brookie. The things we do for micro fish. <laughs> Time to release our little Jimmy. Got to be super careful with these guys. I do believe these are native brook trout. They're not stocked or anything like that. The Northeast is full of them, but they can be a little bit hard to find in Massachusetts. That I know for sure. Come on. Oh, got the first hook out. Oh, there he goes, right there. See him? And he's off. Okay, we have safely and successfully released brook trout number two. But at the beginning of today's mission, I saw some honkers. There was some pretty good fish under this bridge. Definitely 100% brookies. There are also brown trout in here and rainbows mixed in with some maybe largemouth and smallmouth, but wow, that was so sick. Second brookie of the day. Let's see if we can get some more. All right, well, since I'm down here after releasing brookie number two, I might as well just keep fishing. That little fish came on this tiny suspending jerk bait. I don't even know where I got this thing, but um, I just found it in my tackle box today and I thought it'd be an awesome little creek lure to throw for largemouth and smallmouth and here we are throwing it for native brook trout which is kind of dope honestly i'm just casting it out there twitching it a few times letting the current do its thing take that bait down the train and that fish ate right on the paws he smacked it just like a freaking bass such an epic little little aggressive fish never thought uh brook trout could have that much spunk oh i'm on oh i just had I just had a fish. Wow, they really like this jerk bait. This was the move. Something a little bit smaller, a little bit more aggressive. It's got a nice natural color to it. Oh my God, I thought it was a fish. I was like, wow, that's a good one. It's definitely not easy to cast down here. They are thick in here. Oh, dude, one just ate on the surface, right in front of me. I watched the flight. Oh, I'm on, I'm hooked up. Another one, is this another brookie? Dude, oh, this spot is freaking loaded. I think there's another brook trout. Yes, it is. It's another freaking brook trout. Super colored out too. I believe they spawn this time of year and this is kind of like their uh, mating colors they put on. I, again, talking out of my ass right now, but dude, look at that fish. Seriously, one of the most epic little creatures I've ever had the pleasure to connect with on the end of my rod. Freaking so sick. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, hey, hey, take it easy, little gay. Okay, ah, ah, oh, that was, that was almost in the finger. That was almost in the finger. We almost had a pike moment there. Brook trout, getting the best of me at the, at the moment. There we go. Number three going back. Oh my dude. These are like, unlike any other little trout I've ever caught. They are pissed off. Dirty, number three. This is turning out to be a pretty epic day of fishing. Oh snap, we got some more water down here, people. I like this, this looks good. Lucky get down here. A little noodle head. Oh wow, this is really fast moving. Probably good for the, do brown trout like fast water? Or slower water. Do they? Dude, this looks sweet. That last trout I had was on the dead paws. Like I, I saw a fish bust and I was preoccupied by looking at the fish. That, oh, I'm hooked up again. I have got another fish. Same, same instance. I was talking to myself. Then I got that big fat hooky up. Oh God, dude, another little brookie. This creek is loaded full of brookies. To think today was a failure, like you guys have no idea. We went out to Quabbin Reservoir thinking we were gonna stroke some smallmouth and maybe some brown trout here and there. Get out there and couldn't even stay in one spot for more than like a millisecond. It was hooting so much. So we decided to pull this mega audible. Oh, poor guy's all hooked up. We decided to pull this mega audible and fish a creek I've never even heard of before for a fish that I've never caught. And here we are, four down, still stroking them. Epic little brook trout. Time to send a little brookie on his way. Wow, they are so rambunctious. This is freaking so weird to me. Like, it just so happens I had this little jerk bait in my car. It just so happens we got kicked off the quabbin. I'm a big believer in that things go bad so good things can occur. I mean, this is way cooler than smallmouth fishing, in my opinion, just because this is a fish I've never targeted before in probably the most beautiful Massachusetts scenery you can get. Leaves are turning, water is 
rippling. I'm just having a good old time out here. Let's go get some more fish. We still have some other species that uh, we need to encounter today. But in the meanwhile, these brookies are going hard in the paint. Yes. Watch this. Dude, that was so crazy. Did you see that? That's a, that's a better one. That guy, literally, my next cast afterwards. I can't even speak. That's a little bit better. Oh, dude. Oh, he's red. Oh, does he have a little kite? Is this a male? This might be a male or something. He just looks really different, dude. He's red. Oh, dude. Tell me that is not the coolest. I'm shaking right now. This is the sickest thing I've ever seen. I am shaking. He does not like that I'm holding him. Oh, God. Oh, God. There he goes. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> Did you get any of that? Was yeah. Just to be clear, it's really hard to film these guys because you want to be super fragile with them, but they're really slimy and they're also really rambunctious and pissed off. That, I think, was a male. And I'm pretty sure, again, I don't know anything about these guys, hence why I just caught one for the first time today, but I'm pretty sure this time of year, in like mid to late October, they spawn. And that, I believe, was a male in its, its spawning patterns. It was super red in the belly. You could kind of see it had more of an aggressive mouth, kind of like a kite mouth, and that's neat. I mean, I, listen, this day can only get better. I mean, I just, I cannot believe that there is so many little brook trout here. No one's fishing here today. Like, granted, it's a weekday, but still, no one is out here. Little jerk bait, getting him. I like twitched it twice and he was on. I'm on again. This is ridiculous. This is this is like my like second cast in a row, hooked up. It's another male, I think. Yeah, it's another male. Second cast in a row in the same spot. Another, I believe, male brook trout, gone. See ya, bud. Thanks for chilling. All right, here we go. Third cast. Let's see if we can get three in a row here. I would not be surprised. Oh my God, did you see him? He just flashed. I was That was three bites in a row. I whiffed that one pretty good, but that's incredible. This little tiny hole, so much current too. They're such a current driven fish. On, hooked up. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm having an absolute legendary day of Brooks. He's, he's hooked in the booty. Wow, he's really little. There he goes, stress-free, didn't even pick him up. Three fish out of one little hole. Mind bending. This is insane. It's like the farther we go up river, the better it looks. This is kind of a weird spot. I don't know what we're on right now, but this is like, I think an old mill. Like we're on top of a building. It may not seem like it, but this is a building. There's like, I don't know, a, a rundown dam just next to us. I'm not really sure what's going on here. This is definitely some, uh, some ancient stuff. The thing is this place is old, old, like late 1600s old. So who knows what we're fishing on right now. All I know is the brookies are still snapping and we have this immaculate pool ahead of us. So we're going to figure out a way to get down there and crank them. All right, we're going in. Oh yeah, this is money. Good find. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. No, it's all right. It's not giant. Oh, no, it actually is pretty good. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Another brookie, fresh, fresh brookies. See ya. Well, there we have it. I've lost count. I don't even know how many brook trout we caught today. This is just kooky. It's kooky. Oh my God, dude, dude, big, big brown, big brown, dude, big brown, like 15 inches. Oh my God, he just turned on it. Oh my God, big brown, like 15 inch brown. Whoa. Where did he come from? I can't even speak right now. He turned on it too. Oh my gosh. Like take all of my brook trout and combine it together. That's how big that, that brown trout was. That thing was monstrous. Yeah, oh my God. Oh, I thought that was him. You guys, I just saw an enormous brown trout, like that big. He was, it might've even showed up on the GoPro because his water's so clear. Here I am on the micro scene looking for little brooks. And this thing just lazily makes its way up the current. Had no idea it was in front of me until he basically got out of hindsight. Oh my God, and I just had a bite there. I thought that was him. <laughs> that was a big fish. I have no idea how big that trout was, but it definitely would be my biggest brown if I, if I caught it. There we go, fish on. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Watch this brown trout come and just follow this thing in. Oh, hang on. New species, rainbow trout, <laughs> no way. 
I was so convinced it was a brookie, but we got a new species here. Oh my god, hell yeah. Dude, is this a na I think this might be a native. Look at his little speckles. Like, it's definitely got some pretty distinct specks on him. Wow. Just look at that fish. All right, buddy. You take care now. Wow. Just when I thought we were on a strictly brook trout mission, that little rainbow came out of nowhere. I also am curious, and I need you guys' help, is that a native rainbow trout? I've heard there's like a few ways to distinguish. He did have his adipose. His mouth didn't look like he was running a tank. His pectorals looked good. And he also had like those really faint, like purple pinkish dots, which leads me to believe that that was a native fish. I'm not used to catching any sort of native trout. So that's crazy. Like that might be one of my first ever like legitimate 100% native trout other than the ones I was catching in Alaska. But whoo, this is insane. So we've already caught like a ton of brookies, caught a nice rainbow and we've located a fatso brown trout. So we do have some rain rolling in at any moment. So we're gonna try to make this as quick as possible and doink some more fish. Let's keep cranking. Right, here we go, get ready. That ain't it. There we go. Disgusting, just disgusting. Oh, wow. This is incredible. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That did not just happen. No, that did not just happen. Get off of there. Oh, it just came off. I just lost my lure. Where did it go? Where did it go? No, I just lost my lure. All right, I'm gonna take a quick breather, you guys. These, uh, these brook trout, they're absolutely wearing me out at the moment. I think I've caught maybe at least 10, of course, not all on camera, but I wanna also take a moment to, again, thank today's sponsor, that being L.O. Bean, for uh, making this little creek mission happen. One of the reasons why I partnered with L.O. Bean in this video is because their real focus is to encourage their consumers to spend more time outdoors, and what a better place to do it than chasing after these little brook trout in this creek here. This really is what, in my opinion, L.O. Bean is all about, just getting after it, like not even making any plans, just sending it. And you know, that's like the main reason as to why they design such top-notch products is so it's easier for you guys and myself to spend even more time outdoors, whether it be a hiking trip, canoeing trip, or a day like today where we're doing a little bit of both, fishing and hiking. All of L.O. Bean's products are tested within the field, backed by 107 years of outdoor expertise. You can 100% rely on their gear to keep you not only warm, but also dry. Even in conditions like today, where we've got uh, kind of a gloomy fall afternoon and where rain could dump at any moment. So this month they sent me this Mountain Classic insulated anorak jacket. It's really freaking nice. It's this quarter zip that's got a pocket up front that I can actually fit my Guggen baits in. Boom. It's really awesome. I've been using this a ton. I fished in saltwater with this thing. Today we've been hiking around the forest. It's a, it's a nice little piece. And under this, I've got the Mountain Classic fleece pullover, which is kind of keeping me warm. So this is keeping me dry. This is keeping me warm. When you combine the two, you've got the ultimate outdoor wear. Huge shout out to them, like I said, for sponsoring today's video and supporting this. I've, again, been a user of Ella Bean for many years now. My first fly rod was an Ella Bean fly rod. A lot of the gear that I've used on my big fishing trips has come from their store. And when they approached me to do a sponsor video, I was like, Let's freaking do it. Let's send it to the woods and chase some brookies. If you guys wanna pick up some LL Bean wear, including maybe the stuff I'm wearing right now, be sure to check the link down below, or you can visit www.llbean.com. Check her out and pick up some fresh gear for your fishing trip. I am now going to pick up the rod and continue fishing. Hopefully, we'll get a big one. Look at that right there. Water's cranking. There's one. Come on. Oh, what is that? That's something different. We got something different here. Oh, boys, on the Guggen crankbait. What is that? Is that a brookie? No way. This might be like a nice fat brookie. Oh, yeah, it is a brookie. On the Guggen crankbait. Oh, I'm hung up. No, no, I might lose him. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> oh, he's a little foul hook there, of course, because we're using troubles. <laughs> it's a pretty sizable one. And she goes. See a brook trout? Wow. <laughs> it was definitely one of the larger brook trout we've caught today. That looked like a little female, but that guy, or girl, I guess, that girl came on uh, 
This little Guggen Squad banger, the micro, the little banger, the one that dives one to four feet. Isn't that insane? We're throwing bass gear because I have no trout gear. I mean, I don't even know what I'm doing. Really, I should be fly fishing something like this. I mean, I'm gonna get a ton of flack. People saying like, why did you bring a fly rod? But the thing is, we didn't prepare for this. Like we were supposed to small fish this morning. So all my gear is, is, is meant for uh, large mouth and small mouth. So we just adapted and it has worked. That's so insane. Freaking eating crankbaits, little square bills. Well, I think this is the part in the video in which we decide to close today's fishing mission. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. Complete audible, like I said countless times, this was not supposed to be a brook trout mission, hence why we are using seven two rods and swim baits and just crazy stuff. I also wanna give a huge thank you to L.L. Bean for sponsoring this here video. This is a very fitting video for L.L. Bean to sponsor because we went in it. As you can see, I just plowed through a ton of thick brush but it was all worth it to catch quite possibly one of the most beautiful fish I've ever had the pleasure of reeling in. Drop a comment below if you enjoyed this one and be sure to give it a like. We're peace and out signing out. Thanks for the view. And as always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.